Hello again, welcome back to another daily buying advice for pedants. It's another day late today. You might be wondering, oh, it looks like you're a little late on this daily this morning. Yeah, I am. I don't know if you can tell the tone of my voice or anything. I'm sick. And don't worry, it's not COVID. Uh, i tell you why I think it's not COVID. So, I uh, started getting sick, I think, a couple mornings ago. I think a little bit. And then it started to get worse yesterday, more and more. Body's aching. Body's aching all the time. But, um, the body was aching. I'm like, oh, this is not good. And the coffee wasn't working. I was like, did I catch, like, COVID or something? What did I catch? And, um, I was talking to someone on the phone. I was like, yeah, it's got these similar s symptoms to, like, the stomach flu. Which kind of confused me. It was like, okay, I have, like, the body aches. I've got the temperature. I got the fatigue. But no stomach ache at the time. And then I noticed earlier tonight, after I took some medicine and stuff, uh, like vitamins, I, uh... My stomach was acting a little funny. It's like, well, it doesn't... I don't think COVID makes it act funny normally. So... I went to go out and get a... Uh, some 7-Up. In case I would throw up or something later in the night. And so I went out. And came back. And drank some 7-Up. Uh, and stomach's a lot better. Like, I mean, it had some pain or something, some gassiness going on, fullness. But I don't feel like I'm going to throw up or anything a little bit. I mean, I feel, I feel like it a little bit, but, like, it wasn't... Um, it wasn't all full scale. So I was sleeping a lot. I drank some water. I feel like I, I, feel like I might have broke the fever, too. So not as, you know, cold or anything. So, yeah. I think I caught the uh, stomach flu again. So, I'm going to have to look to see maybe canceling that appointment later later this morning about uh, COVID testing. Or go full steam ahead. I don't know. Because I don't like sticking something up my nose. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a... Den it's going to be denied. It's just going to be a stomach virus. Because COVID doesn't go away in less than a day like this. <laughs> Alright, I did that by mistake. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't feel as bad as what I was in August with that stomach flu. And I think that was because I wasn't getting the uh, 7-Up or Sprite or anything immediately. And so I had to get some after I had thrown up a number of times. And I think that's what made my recovery last longer. Because I threw up and I compromised myself a little bit. So I couldn't really eat a whole lot because my stomach was very sensitive to throwing up basically my coffee and then like some water. And then I kept puking up... Uh, fluids until I decided to go out once I threw up and get some seven up. Well this time tonight I went out and get some seven up and I feel a lot better. It got me to thinking I was like well how the hell did I you know get COVID all of a sudden? I mean I, I get it like it's it's kind of a hidden virus and stuff like that. But, like, what I mean is, uh, well, why now? Why would I get it now? Kind of thing. And why is it only, like, these two symptoms? I get it, like, it'll add up and accumulate over time and stuff, but, like, I'm getting similar symptoms right now with uh, stomach flu, so I think that's exactly what happened. Because someone I visited o over late Thanksgiving supposedly 
had the stomach flu the week before, and they said, well, they're over it and all that stuff, but I feel like that's not the case, because I think they still have it in their system, and I got it. That or I just, sheer luck, got it through, uh, through somewhere else. Because the thing does spread, after all. I feel like... Because, look, when I got it back in August, that person, too, also had the uh, stomach bug as well. And, uh, yeah. But I didn't visit that person close enough to where I was going to go to to this thing in August. Where they're going to be there. I don't know. Maybe I am getting it. Well, no. I couldn't have gotten it then. Because I didn't, uh, I didn't visit him at all until on after. Because I don't know, like, well, I don't know. I don't know how long it takes for the stomach virus to come up. Possible I could have got it out of there because I I got the virus after the event down there. So let me see something here. We shall see. Be more guess. Be my guess. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Yeah, real influenza only affects your respiratory system, your nose, throat, and lungs, which I'm not having that issue. Symptoms usually last just a day or two, but occasionally they may persist 10 days. Yeah, I know that. Depending on the, on the case, cause viral gastroenteritis symptoms may appear within one to three days after you are infected and may range from mild to severe. Let's see here. Well, let's see. It's the 1st of December, by the way, 2021. Hello. And I got it yesterday on Tuesday, right? So one to three days. Let's see here. Because Saturday I had that very Thanksgiving. It's um, that very place where someone was getting sick. And then I also visited them the next day, too. I mean, that's got to be the culprit there. This person gave it to me the stomach virus. And it's still in their body. Because... Systems could last a day or two, but occasionally they may persist as long as 10 days. Seems like they've had the problem, but they wasn't probably noticing it until much later. I don't know. Point is the lied. Because other people I've talked to haven't got the virus, at least probably not yet, if they, if they did contract it over there. Second time I got the stomach flu. I'm pretty sure that that is the case, it just... Why do you lie for something like that, God almighty. Oh, 
oh, let's just lie so that way they can come down. Like me, I mean. <laughs> me come down. For Thanksgiving. Oh, well, let's pretend that you're not sick so that way they can come down and don't feel like they're reluctant to come down because of the virus. Does not care about somebody else's well-being and health issues. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Oh, I guess I didn't have to do that. Whatever. Yo, listen up. Here's a story about a little fly. Goes to town. Judgment. Okay. We got some interesting things going on here. I imagine they're going to catch the virus again. Because they have an extremely poor immune system and it has nothing to do with like autoimmune problems or anything. It's, it's just that they, uh, I'm going to take this alabastered box. It's nothing to do with like them having like autoimmune problems or anything. But it blows my mind, though, nonetheless, about uh, people doing such silly things. I should be right as rain tomorrow, maybe. Well, because I didn't throw up, I should have a faster recovery. Doesn't seem like, too, that this virus is as uh, bad as when I had it before. I got real lucky. Anyways, um, what else has been going on today? Oh, well, my joints are sore from, of course, this virus. Like this virus here. <laughs> Another thing with that virus too is like you can give it to other people and to be in their immune systems for a while too. That's also fun. Alright, we got a penny off of that. We can go back and get that soul heart for this this fella. I don't think we picked up oops. I don't think I picked up a deal with the devil, so. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a slow run too, holy crap. Ah, why not? I was given a SARS, look at that. Hot damn. I forgot, it gets soul hearts. Would you look at that. Would you just look at it? Would you look at it, Clark? Ah. 
We're getting a little bit of money too. Oh, well, we, we did what we could there, but we got a hell of a payout. Okay. Alright, we're almost there. Speed up. Speed up helps a lot, too. Say one or two more soul hearts, we can pop this sucker. Maybe we'll find it here. So yeah, I'm dealing with that, but at least I'm uh, on top of it. Because I had a temperature of 117 earlier. Before that was like 100.7. But I feel like the temperature broke because I'm not feeling it's kind of those temperature-y like symptoms. Unleash your inner demon. Just need to get a couple more soul hearts. Hopefully a tenor rock around here somewhere can help us. Oh! I think black cards count too. That was a close one. Okay, we've been through everything we can here. And give us the orbital. Give us the audacity of an orbital. There you go. Oh, not quite. Oh yeah. Soul hearts, come on. Come on. Soul hearts. Ah, humbug. That's right, the confession thing gave us a uh, angel chance, a guaranteed angel chance. Empty rooms. I don't know where these flies are coming from. Oh yeah, the, uh, the rotten heart. Right. We're gonna find that soul art. Uh oh. It's like it was trying to chase after me here. There we go. We're not doing so high with our damage. It might be like a slow roll run or something. Holy cow. I could have like off myself and would have gotten a uh, little bit more stats, but like still, this is still way too low. What we got down here, little Fido. Dad's key. Not what I was hoping to get. 
Though I could get us to the secret room, I guess. And my neck is stiff right now and stuff. So much money to to collect here and very little to spend it on. Alright. It was bound to happen. Oh my god. Just give me the heart. Thank you. Oh, that would have been bad if that blew up in my face. Nothing! Is that all about your box even gonna like give me some goodies out of this? Or curses? Or curses? Okay, well. I guess we can just keep looking around. Oh, why not? That's why not. Hoping to get like a balls of steel pill or something, but. Eh. Definitely kind of tired and stuff still, so. No doubt about that. There's a bone heart. <laughs> no actual stats, huh? I feel like this is what the run is going to be. It's like lack of stats, lack of ability to buy like anything decent. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to take that. Wow. Bound to happen. Let's try, like, see if we can get a black heart. No? Able. Nothing, okay. Maybe. Alright. Alright, fine, I can use this damn thing. Jacob's ladder and a relic. Okay. Well the Jacob's ladder could potentially be useful for me. Potentially. We got a lot of money to work with, and once per floor, we can get the ladder to spawn. So we are way right past due for a uh, boss rush. going on here either. I mean, I could buy a bomb and go one of the secret rooms, but at this point, it's kind of pointless. One hell of a run. Well, if you didn't miss the first deal with the devil, 
want to be in this mess. <laughs> God, I am just like... Getting really irritated in this run. I'll say, I'll say it again. It's probably gonna be one of those runs where it's like, oh yeah. By the way, the key to winning is torture. Let the devil deal. Got tears out. Taking the bloody rage, cause why not? All right, what do you got for me, Daddy L? Candle. Sure, I'll take the candle. Oh my god. Of all the days, why does today have to be the day where it's like, oh yeah, let's uh, make this run very hard. While well, I'm trying to recover from being sick. Now I get it, like, I don't have to play today. But I like to play. And I wasn't gonna play immediately after I got home today, or yesterday, I mean. So I was prioritizing my health first. Death card ain't it worth anything. Okay. It's just junk. Like, literally junk. Like, oh yeah, I hope you like junk. Junk runs. We could sacrifice our hearts here. Yeet ourselves to the Yetosphere. Yeah. Probably gonna be the best bet here, because I am sure as heck not gonna put up with these stats no more. Black card, all right, cool. Maybe it's a self sacrifice room I can play. You get the pussy cat. You get the pussy cat. There's the pussy cat. Such a pain in my butt. I forgot there was a shop. I thought I went to it earlier. Solar drop, alright. Another soul heart, another one, and another one. Okay. Let's 
So essentially, we're going to have one heart out of after this. Okay. Now we're we'll eat ourselves. Okay. Then we can see the boss trap room, see if it's worth it. We could die potentially, but we'll get the pussy cat first. Freaking marbles, are you kidding me? Get the pussy. Get the pussy cat. His name is Puss. Puss the cat. I don't know, maybe we'll get like a good trinket. Just kidding. And this run. We're getting most of our damage with the Azazel thing, and then also, like, the, uh, whatever, the buff. This run is just an absolute disaster. Oh, yeah. Okay. The other run, the, the, the daily the other day was like much more of a competition. It's like, oh, look at all these powerful stuff. Oh, you didn't make a boss rush? Well, you and other, like, a, over a thousand players did it. See, our damage is thanks to getting hit. We can't be afford to get hit anymore. Absolutely horrid stuff we have here. Now watch our damage drop. Bam! Oh, it, it takes my damage? All right. We got conjoined. Oh, I thought I got flight. What a hodgepodge of a run. Oh my goodness. Now, should we able, be able to win though? Yeah, maybe. say maybe because this is kind of dragging me down. Okay. Oh, okay.
Interesting. I think we want to keep the Azazel thing. Can you just... Thank you. Oh, my Lana. Shot speed up. Taking risks here. I'm not really chatty right now, I'm sorry, but God. This is a dry run. Honestly, the book's gonna do us a little better. That's pure damage up. Range, alright. Why not, man? Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have the uh, Caesar beams. Laser beams, ah. What do we get, like a pony now? All right. No, oh, here's a Band-Aid. All right. Soul, again, another defense item. We're at a 98.8% chance to deal with the devil. That's high as I see it besides 100%. That's bananas. There we have another crappy deal. Oh, spoilers. Did I say that out loud? Oh, I didn't go back to get that soul heart, did I? That's for. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're at, like, it's kicking some butt here, though. Got another library. To help up. Yeah, well, we'll still take with the, still keep the uh, book of the Lyle here. Yeah, but the 1.2 percent extra deal with the devil chance. You get guaranteed. All right. Well, oh my God, that's right. I can't fly. Uh. What a hell of a run. I don't know where all these solar arts are coming from, though, besides with my uh, relic. I'm great with the dro grateful with those drops. We still have the next floor with the uh, uh, Jacob's Ladder thing, and then the lamb floor. How about them apples? Trick is helping us be kept alive here. Oh. 
Uh, six minutes too late to hash, but I ain't gonna fight hash in this run. God almighty now. I ask you or the devil. Alright, would that give us another boost? Or whatever. Got for me, Daddy O. Revelation, thank you. Finally, I get some real flight. Okay. I wonder how many people found the alabaster box and then got a payout, like, very soon, like, in the run. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have did that. Ah. Why not? That's why not. You're just getting consumables. What do you think you're going to get? Something. Something to increase your damage and stats. Don't don't be like that. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, I should have done that. Oh my god, or that. It's just like miserable. Happy miserable day. <laughs> I made up the holiday. Don't you steal stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're taking some nasty hits here. All Steam Cell, I guess, want to be bad for the last freaking Angel Room thing. He gets a Sacred Heart in the last floor or something. Crazy. Oh, we're sorry that we give you such a crappy run here, but here you go. I got us. All right. Freaking seven seals. Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, because it's an angel item. <laughs>
finally. Oh. I'll stay alive then. Oh, okay. Now you're giving me some stuff here. Need to find the boss. Fast. Right on time. Hoping to go the right way. We're doing quite a bit of damage, though. That's what I wanted since the beginning. Why not? Okay. I can use that for the fight if I want to. I might just do that. Just not entertain the idea of getting destroyed. Freaking done. Oh my god. 2,663rd place. Somebody must have found the keys to the kingdom. Or I took too much damage. Who knows? But I've got it done. I'm going to go to sleep now. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.